Well, happy Christmas, guys. Enjoy the you feast. You too. You too. I mean, heck of a spread here, haven't we? We've got turkey, potatoes, pigs in blankets, Brussels sprouts, carrots. <laughs> but we have come here with a bit of a plan today. Yeah, we do know it is pretty hard to keep portions under control at Christmas time, but. To be honest, rather than counting calories, it's probably better if we just dig in and enjoy food and drink, right? I'm all up for that, but I hate to break it to you guys and I hate to break it to you at home. I don't want to put you off your Christmas meal, but if you go for the full work, so if you have a starter, nibbles, some drinks, your main for your turkey, then you maybe have Christmas pudding, cheese and biscuits and a few more drinks, which is kind of quite traditional here in the UK at least, well that equates to just over 5,000 calories, Ooh. which is crazy, yes. But realistically, I think what we've got here, including maybe our drink, is around 2,200 calories. Well, 2,200 calories. How long is that going to take to burn off? Well, Heather had a rather <laughs> ridiculous Sorry, idea guys. Sorry. <laughs> that we would each head off and try and burn off those 2,200 calories individually with our own plan as fast as we possibly can. Yeah, so on that note, tomorrow, after we've enjoyed everything we've got here, we're going to go away with our own filmmaker each, and without each other knowing, we're going to come up with an idea that will burn these calories as quick as we can, and crucially, faster than the other ones here. So, on good that luck note, to you. Yeah, good luck, good guys. guys. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Now, yesterday, the three of us managed to gobble down a fairly tasty Christmas lunch. And the theory being now that we're going to burn off all of those calories. And we've opted for a value of about 2,200 calories that we consumed yesterday. So today, I have decided to try and run those calories off. Because in all honesty, every Christmas, that's pretty much what I do on Boxing Day, the day after Christmas Day. So here I am. I'm all layered up. Now, I don't know if you guys remember the 1,000 calorie challenge we did early in the year. Well, I put on loads of layers then in an attempt to burn off the calories as much as I can. Well, I've gone for a slightly dim, watered down version of that today. I've got a few layers on, got hat, I've got some long trousers on, and I'm hoping that if I run fairly hard for a period of time, and I'm guessing at least two hours, 15, maybe even two and a half hours is gonna take me to get through over 2,000 calories. Not quite sure, we'll find out soon enough. I've got my watch to track it. And and basically all that's left to do now is for me to get going. So here I go. My route takes me around the Mendip Hills, not too far from Bath. It's pretty much a 10k circuit, taking in rolling farmland and classic British weather. I'm confident that getting through a few laps of this course will burn off all of that Christmas dinner that we ate yesterday. Uh, bloody hell. What have I done? Eyes bigger than my stomach. Alrighty, I have a plan and you might be wondering why the fire is lit and sadly I'm not just gonna lie here and enjoy the heat, but I am gonna do some work. So I've moved my bike a lot closer to the fire. I'm gonna ramp up the heat and I'm hoping that that means I'm gonna need to do less time on the bike for more calories. But I am aware that my legs are quite tired and I probably can't sit on my bike for that much longer. So in between that, I'm gonna head outside for a bit of fresh air. Whilst keeping warm, so I'm gonna put lots of layers on, go for a run, do a few hill reps. There's a big hill just outside of here. And then when I get bored of that or I get a little bit too chilly, I'm gonna come back in and heat up and get back on Zwift and really get things going. And at the end of the day, if I'm still struggling, I can always just maybe sit by the fire and put more clothes on, but we'll see. I'm gonna have a little bit of an experiment, but I'm hoping that heat is gonna be my friend today. Now, I'll be honest, when we opted to do this challenge, I always wanted to do it outdoors for my calorie burn because I just much prefer training outdoors, even in the winter when it's muddy and wet, cold, because riding and running indoors it has never really been something that excites me. It is worth being out here in this, absolutely. What are you looking at, Heather and Mark? A wall? A mirror? Ha, not like this. Right, if I must do this, I'm gonna to have to think outside the box on this one. Now I know from a bit of research we've done on GTN that running is probably the best and the quickest way of burning calories, but I'll be honest, I just don't fancy running. I haven't done a whole lot since Norseman. Cycling, a little bit more appealing, but how can I get some more calories burned? Well, I've done a bit of rooting around. See, cold exposure, that burns calories. 
Gonna struggle with that here, but I have got a fan at the ready. Drinking cold water. Well, I've already prepared some ice cold water. So I'll be drinking that throughout. Chewing gum, well I can do that. Got a load of that here. Fidgeting, I do that anyway. Laughing often. I'm gonna be switching between lifting a bit of comedy on my laptop. And just to keep things moving, got some weights so I can just keep the arms moving, burn a few extra calories. I also don't fancy sitting on the bike for hours on end, so I'll be jumping off, but I need to keep the calories burning. So I've got a skipping rope and some shoes ready to do that. So, I guess I best get going. Just negotiating the country traffic here. Fun. All right, just over an hour in, so break up again. Let's go for a little skip. I'm gonna. Well, actually, no, I'm not. But right now, if you're asking me, no more Christmas dinners. I'd rather not have Christmas dinner than sit on the sofa. Right now, it's crazy what you can eat in half an hour. All you have to do every time, and so far I've done 200 calories on this. Um, I'm dead. This is ridiculous. This is a long way, isn't it? Do you think uh, Christmas dinner is worth the calories? <laughs> do I think Christmas dinner is worth the calories? Um, if that Christmas dinner's got pigs in blankets, 100%. Um, without the pigs in blankets, debatable. Yeah, there is a little village shop here, which ordinarily in the long run, I might actually like to stop in and get a Coke or some food. But not today. I need to burn calories, not eat them. Basically 36 calories a rep. That's a lot of reps. Keeping my heart rate in the 160s. Sounds quite high, but I know for me, I can kind of do that for a long period of time. But I'm limiting it, making sure I don't go over 170. Happy in the 150s too, but that's my range. No. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> This is like a blind competition because I have no idea what the boys are doing, but I know the end is in sight, my legs are burning, and I'm getting hungry already. I've just got another 200 plus calories, and I'm done. Although I'm popping outside every now and then, the thought of spending this entire duration in the wind and rain isn't something I'm too keen on, but I'm sure there's someone who will be thriving in this environment. More brilliant scenery in this loop. I know I keep saying it, Mark Heather, but what are you guys looking at? I'm well over 21k now. In fact, yeah, going on for 22k. One hour 30, eight minutes or so. So still another probably 35, 40 minutes of running to go to burn these pesky calories. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty close now, but I'd like to say, yeah, go dig in. <laughs> I haven't even got anything. <laughs> I've just got to keep going. Um, my heart rate's staying fairly good. <sighs> to be honest, I'm feeling very dizzy. Just need to get through now. Pretty much 100 calories to go now. <sighs> One forty to go. Oh, I'm cramping. Clearly not enough electrolytes in that Christmas dinner. I'm just about approaching 2000, so I've broken the back of this thing. Nearly there, the last couple hundred to go, which is fine. Another two or three K, I think. This is calories, right? <laughs> it's ripping off me. Christmas meal is totally worth it. Yeah, I mean, a long, a long run. What better can you ask for the day after 
big Christmas lunch. Well, guys, I am seriously glad that's over. I don't know how you found it, but I found it pretty tough. That was really hard work. I'm, I'm intrigued to know what you guys did. Come on, then. I'm desperate I'm, to know. Fraser, I I'm, know you went... To, I'm, uh, I'm still warming up from my wet run, though. So, so, yes, so what did you do? Anything? Uh, You've got to tell us now. Come on. I essentially thought, what is the quickest way, personally, I can burn running? As far as I'm concerned, got to run. I, th I probably opinion. agree with you, actually. I mean, to be fair, ideally running hard, but there was no way I was going to manage to run hard enough for long enough to be able to burn 2,200. So I thought I'm just going to run at a good pace for as long as I can. Feral trek. How about you guys? Go on. Well, I went indoors. I mean, I've just come back from being abroad. I hate the outside, as you guys know. Um, although I did mix it up because I've got, had a bit of that problem that knew I wasn't that fit, um, so I couldn't run like as far as you. So I thought, mix it up between bike and run. So I did some indoors, went with trying to get really hot and sweaty. Did a little bit outside. Um, did some hill reps because I thought... Running um, or... Running oh, hill okay. reps, yeah. Um, then I just finished off because I got bored of getting cold and wet and just finished off on the turbo, like counting down the last few hundred calories. So really mixed it up, but, all, like, like a but sweated, sweated a lot as well and I felt it for about the day after. But what about you? I think we were on a similar wavelength, actually, because I think we probably, we're not quite as fit as Fraser at the moment, so we decided we'd just go Stupid. indoors. Um, but I, I thought I'd think outside the box a little bit, so I researched on things or we ways that ways that, you can burn, ways that you can burn calories without actually exercising. So things like cold exposure, drinking oh. cold water, chewing oh. gum, um, just oh fidgeting, my. laughing. <laughs> so. <laughs> Did you what? go to a comedy show and sit there drinking cold well, water with chewing gum? What I did was I was on the turbo basically doing lots of exercises, chewing gum, fidgeting, laughing, watching comedy. I was doing everything and anything possible. I can't wait to see And this. because I just couldn't, I just couldn't face sitting on a turbo for that long. I jump off yeah. and I start skipping in between. So I go outside in the cold, skip away, jump back on. So yeah, that was how I did it. Well, I definitely was sticking away. It was similar, but I stayed away from the cold and just sweated with the fire on. But I think we need to actually Find out who, who <laughs> yeah, burned the 2,200 the quickest. Come on then, we've got the results coming in here now. Let's have a look. Oh. Thank you. Okay, take. Oh my. Are we ready? We Opening on, right. on. Are we going to just. Right. So, this is how long it took each of us to burn. So, we just show it to the camera. 2,200 calories. Ready, steady, go. go. Two hours. Two twenty-five. Oh, oh what? we were close. Two twenty. Oh my god. Me. Oh. How long did you take? I was way slow. I thought oh. I'd been. Good effort. Two hours twenty. To be fair, Heather, I did say. I yes, think I women do I take a little bit longer to burn <laughs> calories, but you were adamant you must do I wouldn't have eaten as many calories as you guys, so I felt like I had to cut I'm burn impressed, Mark. Many. I am too. I that's, mean, that's a lot oh, of fidget. That's well a lot done, of fidgeting. Guys. Yeah, well done. Well done, well done chap. Well, well done. Yeah, well good done. work. That was awesome. Um, I don't like losing these challenges, you do know. Um, but that, <laughs> was, really that was really good fun. Also, a well, very so hard work. Um, if you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button, and we've got loads more challenges like this, so please do subscribe to the channel. We've got loads more of these kind of things to come as well. So. We yeah, have. click on the globe yeah. and do that. Then if you want to see the one when we race to burn a thousand calories, and Mark didn't win that one, that's just down here. Yeah, and if you want to see a challenge that those two did against each other in Lanzarote, it's pretty good one. You can see that here.